I first met Olivia uh, her senior year in ACC composition where she came ready to go and learn all about the different styles of writing. She's a wonderful communicator. She has been um, very diligent in achieving everything that she has set for herself. Uh, and she's just been a great kid to work with. Olivia is one of those students that uh, does it all here at Ponderosa and that's what we hope for students. She's super involved. She, when she talks about her classes, she talks about loving her classes and loving learning. Um, just has that, brings her passion to everything that she does. Um, despite any struggles that she's had, that, that, that passion comes through over and over again. I have a medical condition and last year in December I had a crisis, a medical crisis, and that is kind of what skyrocketed my mental health decline. The first time was similar to a lot of kids who start to have a mental health struggle. They try to handle it themselves. I've just been feeling a little sad lately, but I've got to do, I can do better. I'm going to go on more walks. I'm going to talk to my parents, trying all the things on her own. It was really hard to um, just be me. As I continued to like go on, I realized that it'd be best if I was hospitalized. With the kids that are top students, sometimes you just don't realize they're, they're struggling, right? They look good on paper, their resume looks good, they have great grades, you know, their, their attendance is good, and so you don't always get to see what's underneath. And I think that's a lesson that we all learn sometimes that, you know, we gotta start digging and, and asking kids uh, if they need help. And most kids won't, won't ask, and somebody like Olivia does. Olivia is the kind of person who's self-aware. When I got out, I was feeling great. I was on top of the world. And then just this year, a couple weeks ago actually, I collapsed at Winter Guard practice. I had an, another crisis and um, it was there in the hospital. I realized like I was monitored for my physical health, but I also needed to be for my mental health. And that was a good decision. I, it, it was for the best. And after that, I, just, I feel amazing. She goes out of her way to say, hey, this is what I need so I can be the person I want to be going down the road. And that's what I found out about her is that she just really you know, takes those extra steps to make sure she feels good and she's healthy so she can be everything she wants to be. Olivia was so proactive and like, I don't like the way I'm feeling right now and I'm gonna go in now rather than wait for things to snowball. She has a heart of gold and she's determined to succeed. To hear her talk about the things she's been through and the things she's accomplished, she's so grateful and thankful for all of it. And even the things that she had to struggle to, through, she will still put a positive spin on it, which I think is a gift that's gonna serve her well throughout her life.